morning students welcome back to our youtube channel dentizy let's make dentistry easy with dentizy students in today's video lecture we shall be discussing about points analysis model analysis in the previous lecture we discussed about what is the need for the model analysis what are study cast in this lecture we shall be discussing about points analysis specifically now in 1909 there was a person named as pont what he did is he proposed a method for determining the ideal dental arch width in premolar and the molar region on what basis on the sum of mesiodistal width of four maxillary incisors what does it means it means if we look at the diagram the four incisors 1 2 3 and 4 these four maxillary incisors were taken the mesiodistal width of each tooth was taken and all the mesiodistal width of all the four teeth was summed up to bring out a one particular value that particular value was named as si sum of mesiodistal width of four maxillary incisors the main purpose was to figure it out that whether the si value or sum of these four maxillary incisors is sufficient to to let the teeth erupt into the alveolar housing or we can say if there is need for the dental arch expansion or not to figure it out whether the arch expansion is needed or not one must know whether the arch is narrow or not so to bring to uh, bring it to the conclusion let's figure it out how this is calculated as we know maxillary arch is taken the study models are prepared and in that case three values are calculated number 1 one, one value is from the premolars what is the from the distal pit of first premolar to the distal pit of first premolar on the opposite side is taken this value is measured which is called as mpv that is measured premolar value m for measured measured premolar value and another calculation which is taken is for the molars one is for the premolars another is for the molars in molars for the first pre, uh, first molar the values are taken from the mesial pit from the mesial pit of one upper maxillary first molar to the mesial pit of upper first permanent molar is calculated this is called as mmv which is measured molar value the third value which is being taken is the sum of mesiodistal width of these four incisors which are the maxillary incisors so these three are the measured values we measure these values on the study cast the models which we prepare from the patient from th that those models these values are measured it means that is something which is of made available to us in the patient's oral cavity what actually is there on contrary researchers have done lots of work from which they have calculated certain values and they have said what ideally it should be kitna hona chahiye the requirement ideally what should be one is measured what is available another one is what is required and that is calculated as cpv cmv cpv is calculated premolar value and cm is calculated molar value cpv it represents 
द आइडियल आर्च वेट इन द प्री मोलर रीजन विच इज डिटर्मेंड बाई दिस फॉर्मूला सम ऑफ मिजो डिस्टल वेट ऑफ फोर मैगजेरियन साइजेस इन टू हंड्रेड बाई एटी एंड सी एम वे इज कैलकुलेटेड मोलर वैल्यू और द आइडियल आर्च वेट इन द मोलर रीजन विच इज डिटर्मेंड बाई फॉर्मूला सम ऑफ मीजो डिस्टल वेट ऑफ मैगजेरी फोर इन साइजेस इन टू हंड्रेड बाई सिक्सटी फोर it says that the ratio of the combined incisor width to the transverse arch width was 18 in case of premolars and it was 64 in case of molars from both the measured and the calculated values the inference is made it said that the if the calculated value is greater than the measured value calculated value means something which should be there ideally ideally what should be the arch width in premolar and molar region to the measured value means something which is available to us it simply means if the calculated value is more than the measured value it means there is need for the expansion and the discrepancy and amount of discrepancy between both the value will tell us how much expansion is needed depending upon that we can easily calculate that how much is the discrepancy from the calculated and the measured value and how much it means if calculated is the more than the measured it means there is some need for the uh, for the arch expansion and from the difference in the values will describe us how much expansion is needed transversely but there were certain drawbacks to this analysis also what were the drawbacks in this the skeletal marl relationships they were not considered like uh, class uh, skeletal relationship was not considered if there is maxillary excess or mandibular excess so it uh, it did not include that factor number 2 there were certain conditions anomalies like peg laterals were there so in that case obviously the size of the lateral incisors would be smaller than the usual so in that case the chances for discrepancy calculation were more like uh, for the maxillary lateral incisors these are also the commonly missing tooth in the oral cavity so in that case is also what should be done and what would should be the criteria to deal with such conditions so these were not included next important factor was that this particular study in 1909 was done particularly on the french population so how come generalization could be made on if the study was done on one particular population it means here the issue of ethnicity was considered and lastly in this case only the maxillary arch was considered what about the mandibular arch mandibular arch was not included into it so if we need to calculate the transverse discrepancy or if we need to know if the mandibular arch do need an expansion what should be the criteria so that was not calculated so these were the various drawbacks or setbacks associated with the ponds analysis to summarize this analysis gives the approximate indication of degree of narrowness of the dental arches particularly the maxillary arch and number 2 the amount of lateral expansion which is needed for the arch to accommodate teeth into the perfect alignment once we know that how much expansion is needed accordingly if we expand that arch to that particular value till the calculated value so in that case we can easily align the teeth in the alveolar housing and there that will lead to the proper alignment of teeth so this was all about the points analysis if you like please like share and subscribe and stay tuned thank you